I was never much of an adventurer. Besides, what even is an adventure? Maybe it's the moment when we stop being afraid of something, dare something new. Or maybe it's the moment when we're forced to abandon the old and take new steps. I'll tell you about an adventure I did have. It's linked to many of my memories. Memories of foreign lands, dangers, love, and a small package that was to change my life completely. As was announced earlier this week, in the pharmaceutical company Exxon Pharmaceuticals said that it will launch a new drug in the private and There was a lot to celebrate tonight. The new job, the new apartment. A few minutes ago, the last of my friends had left and responsibly handed me another job. Cleanup crew chief. I'm dog tired, and all I really want to do is go to bed. Time to put things in order. Oh, almost forgot. I promised my neighbor, Rachel, who was out of town, that I'd take care of her pet. She gave me a bag of food, and I know I put it here somewhere. While I was looking for the food, I noticed the terrarium lid was not resting properly on the tank. Carefully, I searched the terrarium for Rachel's little lizard, but it's definitely not in there. Crap. Looks like somebody put their drink there tonight. That would also explain why the lid is crooked. I gotta catch that lizard somehow. I search through the boxes, but can't find anything useful. Admittedly, the illumination of my living room is still in need of improvement. I agreed to play keeper in Rachel's absence. I still don't understand how you can call your lizard Hans. The party has left its mark. Time to clean up. Carefully, I search through the laundry basket, hoping to find the lizard. While rummaging through the dirty clothes, a small safety pin catches my eye. I wonder how it got there. Me as a kid, face smeared with my favorite chocolate pudding. A guitar solo in a jogging suit. Sure, forget it. Better not. Found it. The bag of food Rachel gave me. Attached to it is a small note that says, feed twice a day, thank you and see you soon, Rachel. My brother's drums. It meant a lot to me that he was here tonight. Ever since he gave up the drums, preferring to lift weights every day, they've been sitting around my house. One of those 2D point-and-click adventure games from the 90s. I loved it as a kid. My father and I on one of the many expeditions he'd taken me on. I always felt sick in the off-road vehicle, so he gave me pretzel sticks during the rides. My TV with 8K resolution, sharper than the katana hanging from the ceiling above. A gift from my father for my 18th birthday. I think he was trying to get me interested in history and archeology span at the time. The empty bottle could make an excellent trap. 
but the screw top opening is much too small for the lizard to get through. I can't just let the lizard run loose here. The safety pin might still be useful to me. I just don't know exactly how right now. This does not... All of a sudden, I see the lizard sitting on the edge of the laundry basket. Gotcha! Not a chance. As soon as I approach it, it disappears again. Hmm. How do I catch you? Aside from a few crumpled chips, the sitting area looks surprisingly clean in spite of the party. There's a hair tie stuck in between the cushions. Presumably someone lost it there tonight. Nope. I'm sure that hair tie will come in handy, but how? Rachel's terrarium. No. I search through the boxes, but can't find anything useful. An empty plastic bottle. Lots of salt, carbohydrates, and fat. <laughs> What could go wrong? Drawer's empty. The drawer contains only small stuff. Screws, old coins, few pens. The drawer is filled with old computer game magazines. My carpet knife. Making bread rolls, shaving, the possibilities are endless. Carefully, I cut open one end of the bottle, but not completely, to create a sort of flap mechanism. The bottle now has a large enough opening so that the lizard can easily get inside, but I still need some kind of release mechanism. Maybe, somehow, I can replicate the mechanism of a conventional mouse trap. I poke a hole in the shell of the bottle, thread the safety pin through it, and then bend it apart. The safety pin is perfect as part of the trigger mechanism for the trap. I should probably deal with the release mechanism. On I attach the hair tie to the screw top of the bottle first, and then to the safety pin on the other side. Now I have a working release mechanism. First, I had to open the packaging. The last time I tore open a bag, the whole kitchen was decorated in oatmeal. Look at that. I opened the package with the carpet knife. The smell that wafted toward me after opening that bag was disgusting. That might work. I'll put some of the food on the pointy end of the safety pin. Now I have a perfect lure. Never. Mom's reminder note, please always bring the dirty clothes to be washed on Fridays at the latest. Mama Scott, you are the best. Carefully, I place my homemade trap on the floor behind the sofa. Come on, little one. I know you're hungry. And 
sure enough, lured by the food, the lizard crawls into the bottle and triggers the mechanism as it touches the safety pin. Yeah! Carefully, I pick up the trap with the lizard inside. I'd better not tell Rachel about this. Hey, can't you things at least knock? They call them express package drones. Gone is the charm of a flesh and blood parcel delivery. Although I wasn't expecting an order, the drone had delivered a small package. Inside the package was a small red data storage device and a small leather covered book. Nothing else. The initials K and W are engraved on the leather cover. April 14, exploring a cave 10 kilometers from the village. One King's chapter 10. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train with camels that bore spices and very much gold and precious stones. The treasure of the Queen of Sheba. My father used to tell my brother and me about that. My father searched for this treasure for many, many years. Whoever owns this diary is also looking for the treasure. No sooner had I started the computer than the living room fuse blew. Oh, not again. Apparently, the circuit is overloaded. My Ultra Cleaner 5000, made in Germany. A pair of sneakers I bought in New York a few years ago. I reset the breaker for the living room. Oh, not again. Lots of addresses, phone numbers, fast food flyers. This Greek one with his gyros. Unbeatable. My brother Peter and me. I love you, Peter. My brother Peter and Old but still usable, my backpack. Since a chocolate bar melted in my backpack last summer, I only use the front smaller pocket. I reset the breaker for the living room. My smartphone from 2018, still kicking. Let's see. 
There's tons of files on the data storage. Photos of excavation sites, marked location on map sections, and lots of selfies of a young woman. My father would have been very interested in these documents, but I got no idea. I should call Uncle Henry and ask him what these files on the data storage device mean. Of course, I did not save Uncle Henry's number. Somewhere, there should still be a piece of paper where I wrote it down. Lots of addresses, phone numbers, fast food flyers. Lots of addresses. Nothing in life really works without rules. My smartphone from 2018. I'm certainly not going to order any more food today. I'm stuffed. There it is. Uncle Henry's number. Uncle Henry? This is Brian. You still awake? Brian, do you know how late it is? Well, I couldn't sleep anyway because your aunt is snoring like a sawmill again. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing very well here, but I do miss Mom and Peter. Your mom told me about your new apartment and new job. Congratulations. How are things going with the women? There was this one girl. What was her name? Now it was time to change the subject. Rachel, Uncle Henry. Her name is Rachel, but we're just good friends. That's right, Rachel. Sweet thing, that kid. But what is the real reason you called me? This may sound strange, but remember how Father used to tell us about the treasure of the Queen of Sheba? But of course, your father was practically obsessed with finding this treasure. I often helped him plan his expeditions. Well, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. Someone sent me a diary and a data storage device on which are place markers of excavation sites in Axum. You know, the city where, according to legend, the Queen of Sheba once had her kingdom. Sounds interesting. Any idea where the package came from? I would have to take a look at the data myself. Then I could say more about it. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah, it's getting late, but I need to know what Uncle Henry's going to say about the data storage and the diary. Good evening, Mr. Scott. Please don't make any sudden moves or I would be forced to use my gun. This guy is not kidding. Many years ago, when I was helping my dad on an excavation in South Africa, a security guard also threatened us with a gun because he mistook us for grave robbers. Right now, all I remember is dad's remarkable calmness and somehow getting us out of that situation. If you cooperate, nothing will happen to you. Would you have a little something for me to eat? I came from Germany and I'm insanely hungry. These potato chips are terrific, Mr. Scott. If I remember correctly, your father always had them with him on his expeditions. You knew my father? How did you know my father? When did you, uh, where did you know my father? Easy, Mr. Scott. Remember which one of us is holding the gun. There was little point in fighting a handgun with words. Oh, Mr. Scott, before I bore you further, let me get to the real reason for my visit. I'll be brief. We have a job for you. Find Kate Williams. We lost her in the Middle East just as she was about to find the crucial clue to the treasury of the Queen of Sheba. Apparently, the killer is also looking for the treasure. Listen, all I know is that my father searched for the Queen of Sheba's treasure for many, many years. I don't know this Kate Williams at all. And why would you think I could find her? Because she sent a package to you a few days ago, Mr. Scott. All of a sudden, it clicked. The initials on the diary, K and W. We could have given our men on site the job of preventing this from happening, but we want Miss Williams to believe you are on her side. Slowly, it all began to make sense. 
Okay, let me guess. I only get to stay alive if I get on a plane to Ethiopia with you to help find a woman I don't even know. Precise, Mr. Scott, precise. I can still remember that evening very clearly. Everyone knows the moment when you're actually just waiting to wake up from a bad dream. No such luck. The gun in the killer's hand, his cold stare, my racing pulse, it was all real. When I boarded that plane back then, I crossed the threshold into a new world. My old life was over, and I was starting on a journey into the unknown. <laughs>